Hi guys, it's Rob from Royal Balls. Quick t-shirt shout out to Andrew Monday at uh, Ruby Royals. Thanks for the t-shirt mate. Not slacking on the back either. You can see his details there. So uh, give him a follow and a like. We're going to look at uh, a couple of clown projects today that I have going on and how a project can change based upon opportunities and snakes that become available during the season. So let's take a quick look at one of my clown projects that has recently changed. So this girl here is my pastel enchi clown female who gave me a clutch last year in September and she has regained all her weight and it's time for her to be paired up again and I'm going to talk about an opportunity that, that arose with ARP constrictors at very short notice to uh, improve on the pairing that we both had in mind for this girl. You can see that she is very very bright but she does have the typical pastel muddiness that develops with age. She is still a superb example of her kind and the question now comes as to what we do with this girl this year. Now she comes from a line of very bright high quality and reduced pattern clowns that Arwen has been working with for the last couple of seasons. This girl came from a clutch that did have some of the reduced pattern clowns but she is not one of those so it does appear as if the reduced pattern clown is genetic and unfortunately she missed out on that but I do have one of Arwen's reduced pattern clowns. Let's have a look at him so that we can see what the difference is. So this is a male and he is an Enchi clown and he comes from the same line of clowns. Let me just zoom out a little bit so that you can see better. Uh, he comes from the same line of quality clowns that Arwen has been working with but this guy here has the reduced pattern and it is genetic because Arwen has been able to reproduce it. You can see this guy does not have pastel and therefore does not have the same muddiness. Uh, his colours are much more consistent, uh, not quite as bright because he doesn't have the pastel. But look at that head stamp guys, look at that awesome, uh, just a single copy of Enchi in this guy and there is some question as to whether he's also blade because you can see that along the sides here he doesn't have hardly any banding and the female because she is not the reduced pattern uh, does have the side banding you can see that so this pat this line of reduced enchi clown cleans up that side banding so these are the two clowns that we intended to pair so that we could perhaps go for the pastel super enchi clown and possibly introduce to the clutch this line of reduced pattern clown as well so clean this up enormously. There was some discussion as to whether this male had blade in him but there is no blade in Arwin's collection. Uh, this just popped up in a clutch uh, that did prove out to be genetically reproducible. So this is the Pastel Enchi Clown and this is just a straight Enchi Clown from the reduced pattern line that Arwin has been working with. So last season we did pair this girl up uh, because the intention was to clean up this muddiness and fire is the gene that would do that. So we were after the Firefly Enchi Clowns. She was paired to this guy here. Uh, this is the fire clown male that she was paired to and you can see the difference here's the fire with the extended alien heads and since we've already done this clutch we know what the offspring look like so let's get a look at those so these are her two offspring firefly enchi clowns this one we think is firefly enchi this one we're not sure uh, but also possibly Firefly Enchi or just simply Enchi but very very bright uh, very 
clean pattern so we suspect that these are both Firefly Enchi clowns so we know what they look like from mum and obviously the quality of mum in that ARP line of clowns is showing through very very nicely on these offspring so if, if I can do this for you let's just compare these two Firefly Enchis to both the mum and the dad so let me zoom out so here is mum next to her two offspring and you can see how much cleaner these babies are as pastel ages it gets this muddiness down the sides but um, hopefully because we put fire into the equation uh, we won't be seeing any of that muddiness in these babies fire tends to keep things nice and clean so if I can just wrangle these snakes here and keep them all still we'll put dad in the shot as well so that you can see the combination genes that go to make up these two stunning babies so if I can just corral these snakes here so this is dad in the shot as well this is getting to be a little bit of a handful let me see if I can corral them all here for you so this is the fire clown this is the pastel enchi and these two guys here are probably firefly enchi clowns so that you can see the two parents and the offspring that they produced so we want to continue that uh, this girl here obviously throws some very very high quality offspring so what are we going to pair this girl to now this guy here has a sister that uh, Arwen sold and he's regretted it ever since she is the same reduced pattern Enchi clown and an opportunity arose to reacquire that snake and get it back to ARP which we did uh, so we now have the female of this reduced Enchi clown and because we now have the female to work with and she is up to breeding age and will be paired this season and I won't spoil the surprise as to what she's been paired to now that gives us an ideal opportunity to actually pair my pastel Enchi clown girl to something different since we're going to get a clutch from this reduced line anyway uh, we thought that that opportunity now frees up one of Arwin's males that he can lend to me and we can try for something different with this pastel Enchi clown girl so that's an example of how a an opportunity has arisen that has changed a potential pairing uh, that we were going to do this season and it's short notice and I do have that male that we're going to pair the pastel Enchi clown female to okay so this is the male that I have had for the last week and I've been waiting for an opportunity to film this guy uh, he's just shed last night and I am filming this in a separate room this is my quarantine room away from the main snake room and even though the snake is from ARP constrictors and so are most of my snakes um, when I get snakes from him I quarantine them and when he gets snakes from me he quarantines them too I would expect nothing less so this guy is in a separate room and the way that we're going to treat that is I'm going to bring the pastel Enchi female out into the quarantine rack so that she can be paired up with this guy uh, so that way I only risk one snake and not the whole collection although the risk is fairly minimal so this guy here is a firefly Enchi het for clown male comes from the same line of reduced high quality clowns that Arwin has been working with uh, and this guy here um, neither love nor money would prize this away from Arwin he received several great offers for this stunning looking male but uh, he refused to sell and you can see that he is extremely bright very very high quality and Arwen was actually quite upset that this wasn't actually the visual clown so this is what we're going to pair that female to 
what we'll be trying for with this mail is the Super Pastel Fire or Superfly with two doses of Enchi. So Superfly, Super Enchi Clown. So imagine those babies that you've just seen with an extra dose of Pastel and an extra dose of Enchi, both of which come from a high quality line of clowns that are extremely bright and clean and because this guy has fire in him too we know that's going to clean up the babies tremendously so this is an example of where we're looking for not a truly outstanding morph but certainly the best quality of that morph that we can possibly uh, obtain from using high quality snakes to pair up so that's the pairing that we have Hope you enjoyed seeing this guy. I'll be bringing the female out to the quarantine rack and getting her paired up with him next week. She laid for me last year in September, so she has about six months to go. She's put back on all her weight and condition, so she is ready to be paired up. And this is the male that I got to pair her with. Um, it is a het to visual pairing, so only 50% approximately of the babies will be visual clowns. We didn't have a visual clown of this quality to pair her to but you can see that even the hets are extremely high quality so this is he the firefly enchi het for clown male that we're going to pair with the pastel enchi female clown so let me just show you the look that we're aiming for now uh, this is her first offspring the firefly enchi clown and if I just zoom out a little bit this is obviously not a clown uh, but it is a super fly which is two doses of pastel and one dose of fire so that's part of what we're aiming to try to get into uh, the offspring from this pairing so this is the super fly part so imagine this with two doses of pastel, what that's going to do to the look of the snake. This guy here, again not a clown, but this is Super Enchi. Uh, look at that head stamp on this boy here. He has lesser in him, which is why he's slightly paler yellow. But you can see the pattern reduction that we're getting from the Super Enchi. So imagine Super Enchi in this guy here the clown version of that so that's what we're aiming for with this pairing we're looking to do the super pastel fire super enchi and you can see the look that we're trying to aim for we want to make this one even more reduced and even cleaner and brighter than it already is and because Arwen is working on a pairing with that reduced pattern enchi clown um, what are the essential ingredients that are missing from this snake here that will potentially make it even better is orange dream and yellow belly in this combination too and that's where the synergy working together with another breeder allows us to switch our pairings midstream to tr not only produce something visually even better in the first generation but to get us one step closer to a longer term goal in the future orange dream and yellow belly added to this combination as well whilst we're talking clowns this is what we're calling our x clown and this female is now up over 1400 grams and we don't exactly know what she is some of the pattern characteristics are reminiscent of fire uh, but she's way way darker than fire uh, if we compare that with this male here that is a fire clown male you can immediately see the difference this girl here is not uh, fire at least not in the classic sense this is a fire clown male and this female is what we're calling our X clown some of the pattern is reminiscent of fire. You see the donuts down the side, and she has all the donuts. 
uh, but she doesn't have the same fire tends to elongate the alien heads you see how the alien heads here have all amalgamated and she does not have that she still has the classic teardrops very very different to huh, the fire clown so this is the X clown compared to a normal clown a normal clown has a very regular pattern and this one is a particularly nice example but you can see that the X clown has a less regular pattern a much more irregular pattern on the dorsal and is actually much much darker than the normal straight clown and here is a fire clown to compare and you can start to see some similarities in the pattern but the fire clown has much more extended or stretched alien heads and the fire clown is also much much brighter this animal is much darker much much higher contrast she is close to the age where we would look at pairing her uh, maybe later on in the season and the plan for her is to pair her up to a very very similar male from the same clutch and he is carrying whatever that female is carrying this guy is carrying the same gene he has exactly the same look and so we're going to see if it's genetic by trying to produce the super form if it is fire we'll get an all white snake which I'm hoping we won't get but if there is some other gene at work in this snake and we can transfer it to the offspring uh, there might be a super form of it and so the idea behind this pairing this female to this male would be to see whether we could get the super form of whatever is in these clowns so that's a future pairing that we have with what we are calling the X clown project and hopefully we will get an early look at what that might potentially look like because that male is being paired to this female this is a super pastel vanilla yellow belly spot nose het for clown female and she has been paired for the first time to this X clown male that was a pairing that I showed in my last breeding series uh, but this is a very interesting clown project that we have uh, so we'll find out what this gene is that's in this male and what it does to the combination that this female has here and you can see that she has since being paired she has been absolutely slamming food and she's thickened up really really nicely and so hopefully we'll get a clutch from this girl this year with that ex clown male i hope you enjoyed looking at those snakes a nice change from looking at breeding so thanks for watching don't forget to share like and subscribe and we'll see you next time